Hey guys, and welcome to whatever this is. <laughs> what do you want to call it? Welcome to my first ever console video. That's strange to say. Welcome to my first ever console video. In 1080p and 60fps, glorious 40,000 megabits. This has got to be one of the highest quality videos I have ever made on the channel. So yeah, um... Yeah, it's great that it's coming from my Xbox, so all the CPU power doesn't store onto the game. The actual Xbox gets to do all the power itself. The only th the only CPU usage that is getting used is on OBS and maybe streaming from the Xbox to my PC. But yeah, welcome to something different. I thought we should freshen the channel up a little bit and we should do something different. I think we should do something very, very different over the next few months. Um, there is going to be a lot more consistent videos over the next few months. There is going to be a lot more um, a lot more uploads over the next few months. Because of this, um, we're going to be doing a few games um, on consoles. There, there will be, obviously, the games like Life is Strange 2, which is currently going on on the channel. We're about halfway through that right now. Um, maybe maybe I just under halfway through that, um, and we're currently um, we're going to be starting. Uh, we're actually we're continuing with Euro Truck as well, um, which will come more uh, weekly probably as well. But there is new stuff coming into the channel as well, which is great. This is going to make me motivated so much because I am going to be playing this game. This is the first time I've revealed this. I'm going to be playing this game that's on the screen right now. Red Dead Redemption 2. I have looked forward to this game for so long. I have he I have teased to play this for so long. Apart from, you know, the 92 gig install, it was actually 99 gig because it actually, like, if you install it and then go off your Xbox and then go back on again, it'll just do that part. But I am looking forward to this. Do not miss tomorrow's video. I think it's tomorrow's video. I'm not sure yet. I think I've got it down in the schedule as tomorrow's video. This should be Thursday's video. Friday's video should be Red Dead Redemption 2. I think. I can't remember. But welcome to console gaming. I... This is weird. I don't know how to introduce this. I've never done a console video before on my channel. But today we're going to start off with... Um, we're going to be playing, I hope your quizzing knowledge is up to scratch today. Get your quiz brains out because we are going to be playing some Trivial Pursuit Live as the first ever console video. I have played this numerous times on my Xbox. I am very ex like I'm very happy to bring this to the channel now. We're going to be playing with Xbox Live because we actually get players from Xbox Live and we can actually get like real time players. Let's go with a public game, because we don't want to play ourselves, that'd just be weird. Do you want to start the game with this comfort configuration? Yes, I would. If you've never played Trivial Pursuit Live before, there's six, is it six or seven categories? I can't remember. There's six or seven categories that you can choose from, or that you basically get randomly picked. There's history, geography, sports, um, nature. Hello. I'm going to choose... Let's go with that. Mm -hmm. I'm not ready, dude. I don't want to play two players. No. I'm not ready. I want to play... Oh, my God. It's so boring when it's just two players, man. I'm going to exit the game if it does this. If this is the way we're playing, I'm exiting the game. Dude, no, 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 no. Okay. Mm. No, I wasn't ready. I was not ready. <laughs> oh my god, a two-player game. That's going to be crap. It's trivial pursuit. Oh my god. That is so loud. I apologize. Let's see who's in the game tonight. I apologize. That is really loud. <laughs> Player one and player two. Correct answers to questions score you points, and points earn wedges. Each player competes to win wedges over five rounds. And because this is Trivial Pursuit, 
The first player to collect all six wedges. Two player game. This is gonna be absolutely rubbish. A normal game lasts about 20 minutes, but seeing as it's two players. Quick starter. Quick starter, this is always the first one. This round is all about. Listen up. Each question is worth more than the last. I swear I chose a block as my character. No, not... No. What character from the Lord of the Rings book series is an alter ego named Gollum? I have no idea. I guess Aragorn. Because it sounds more like Lord of the Rings. I have no idea. I've never like I've never watched Lord of the Rings. Here's an update. That's cool. Geography. And customs, cultures, and places. It's geography. About what percent of touch? Uh, I think it's quite a low percentage actually. I think it's probably more likely to be seventeen percent. Because I think most of it is in Europe. I think of Turkey as in Europe. What? 95%? Culture events, both past and present. Let's make history. The first 15,000 Swiss army knives, similar to the utility knife here, are made in what country? I have no idea. I'd probably guess... Germany? Makes sense. Yay! Yeah, it makes sense. See, there we've got 600 points each. If that bar gets right across above the 600, then we get um, a wedge. What classic record label boosted Diana Ross and the Supremes and Marvin Gaye? Um, I'd probably say Motown Records, because Diana Ross was made for Motown, wasn't she? Yeah. Atlantic Records is more of a newer one. Here's a chance to turn things around, player two. Oh dear. Even though we're both on the same points. Does this make sense? Did she just say leisure? What is the hole where you sit in a kayak called? I don't know. A cage or cockpit. What what is the hole? It's not a cockpit, because that has surrounding shelter. A cage, I'd probably say a crow's nest at a guess. What? Wow. I wouldn't have got that. Thanks for the update. And that's the round. It kinda sucks how there's only two players though. It's so much better with four. Oh, I'm 600 points away from a wedge. Still quite a while away. Well, it's a question. The next round is probably my favourite round. Close call. What one's this again? Okay. Oh, this one. Yeah. The higher your answer ranks, the more points you score. Yeah, so it's like a list. And then the the one that's number one gets the most points. The one that's number five gets fewest points. Select a category. This round, be about player one. This round um, science and... No, let's go science and nature. Because I know absolutely nothing about history. Which of these insects has a lot... Oh, God. Stag beetle, working bee. Um, 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 oh god, no, 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 no. Um, queen ant. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything about insects. Okay, fair enough. I picked the second best answer. 15, 17. Wow. It's quite a lot. That's more than a dog. Which of these shapes has the most sides? Are you serious? 
Octagon's 8, Pentagon's 5, Decagon's 9, Heptagon's 6. I'm going to go Dodkagon, because I think that's... Is that 10? Here's the breakdown. Yes. Oh, that's 12. Okay, fair enough. And the first player to get six wedges wins the game. Fantastic. Which of these Facebook features were released earliest? Oh, God. Timeline, Facebook photos, Facebook... Oh, God, God, God. Um, I'd probably say the timeline or the news feed. <clears throat> I'd probably say timeline. Facebook chat was way later. Facebook photos was probably at the same time as chat. Let's see the correct order. <laughs> wow, timeline was 2011. Are you kidding me? Wow. Which of these planets is closer to the sun? Okay, I got it. Mercury is the closest. My very easy method, just speed or something like that. <laughs> nope, that's wrong. It's Venus at second. Ooh, thousand points. Last question. This is your chance to turn things around, player one. Geography, if there is one. Oh god. I know nothing about art, so I'm gonna go sports. Sports and leisure. It's leisure. Which of these video game characters was introduced first? Oh god. Um. Oh man. Spyro the Dragon, Mega Man, Rayman. I'd probably go Mega Man. Crash Bandicoot and Sonic were way later. Yeah, that would have been either that or Mega Man. Wow. Mega Man was 1987, Sonic was 1991. Yeah. Interesting round. Yeah. Fill up with wedges. Score more points. Yeah, he's he's not got his second wedge yet. I've got my oh, second wedge. Round. Third round. What's this round? Oh, this Here's round. It's general knowledge. Take turns picking a category. Answer correctly to score points. If you answer correctly in the category that you picked, you score bonus points. Yeah. Oh, so if you pick a category and you get that right, you get bonus points. Okay, let's get it right when we pick Choose the category. Player one. There are bonus points at stake. I know more sports about sports than I do on art. Which city hosted... Okay, I think I can get this. I think it was Vancouver. Something's telling me it's Vancouver. It's either Vancouver or Salt Lake City, but I'm leaning more towards Vancouver. Nah. Yeah. 1,500 points. That's crazy. Yay! Switch up the categories. Entertainment plus history. What was the name of the goldsmith who produced jeweled eggs for the stars of Russia? I have absolutely no idea. Let's go, Mikhail Kozlovsky. He definitely knew that. Second wedge. Switch those categories. Oh, that's Player difficult. One, take your pick. I think entertainment I might know more about than geography, so I'm going to go with that. What country did Angelina Jolie's first stop to China? Oh, God, no. Um, I have no idea. I don't think it would be China. I don't think it would be Japan. I would say India as a guess. Fair enough. Complete and utter guess. 
and I didn't pick I picked that category too. I could have had a choice. Go ahead and pick your bonus entertainment. Prefer that over <laughs> art. What musician received France's highest cultural award, the Legion of Honor? Um, I'm gonna say Bob Dylan because I know him the best. Fair enough. He obviously gets bonus points. Pick your bonus category, player one. Uh, I'm gonna go science. Science and nature. What is the molecule structure of an ozone? Oh god, my friend's gonna kill me because of this. Um, I'm gonna say H2O. <laughs> I don't know anything about chemistry. There's someone I know that is a chemistry enthusiast and I know he would absolutely kill me if I get that question wrong. And I did. Choose carefully, player two. Don't forget science and nature. Let's mix it up. How many hearts does the animal pictured here have? An eel. None. I always remember a, je a jellyfish has no hearts. What? What animal is it that has zero, zero hearts? Select the category. category player one. Uh, geography. geography. Uh, which Christian feast day did the carnival in Rio de Janeiro end on? I don't know. How am I meant to know that? Which Christian Christian feast day does the carnival in Rio end on? Let's go Pancake Day because why not? Oh, I was right. I guess. Fat Tuesday. <laughs> wow, look at the points now. I'm so behind. One last question. Player two, pick a category. Why do you need to call it player two? Can you not have voice activated off the name? Science and nature. Be nice. What comment last spotted? Um oh god. I don't no, Caesar's Comet's the one that's sprung into mind, though. Okay. Yep, he got his third wedge. I'm still on my second one. Just over halfway through. First, this the third bar. 66% accuracy. Not bad. Probably 33% with me. I think this is the round where you choose loads of stuff. Grab bag blitz. Here's how it works. Act fast and pick an answer. Each correct answer scores you points. Oh, that's one. Yeah, get like a grid of answers. You need to find them. Enough correct answers for everyone. Yeah. That's good if you can find them. <laughs> Select a category. And Even though I absolutely hate it, but you know, from 1900 to 2012, which of these sports has been Olympic events? Okay, let's go for one we know. Swimming's definitely been there. Uh, I know that um, sailing has definitely been there. You scumbag! I know that surfing's definitely been there. Wow. Diving has definitely been there. <laughs> I think... Oh, good. Got one wrong. I think squash is definitely in it. I bet you that was introduced in 2016. Water skiing sounds like the last one. Yeah. Yay, got my next wedge. Let's see which are correct. 
shooting. Live pitching shooting. Which of the following cities will host a Formula 1 race as part of the 2014 season? What do you mean, will host? Uh, Barcelona. I think of the places that are part of the Grand Prix. Um, Melbourne, that's definitely part of it. Uh, I think the Swedish Grand Prix is in Stockholm, I think. Um, Montreal, that sounds right. What's that? Three, five, seven. There's one left. That's five correct answers for him. Interesting. No, not really. Which of these terms are names for martial art disciplines? Oh my god. Taekwondo. He's on his fourth wedge. Can I make it to my fourth wedge before the end of the round? I doubt it. No, why did I select that, you absolute buffoon? That is a paper folding method. Oh my god. Why would you do that? Tai Chi. Why would you select origami, you absolute buffoon? Yoga's not. Why would I think yoga is... Yoga is... There we go. I think we got one last question. For the end of the round. Yeah, we do. Final question. Here's your chance, player one. Yeah. You've reached level 17. Uh, let's go with... Oh, I don't like any. History. History. So you need to pick out your strongest subjects, but then try and work out your opponent's weakest subjects. Uh, which of these countries allied a poor portion? Um, okay, I think I'm definitely going to go Germany. What? Are you serious? Okay, Great Britain. Thank you. I'm almost at wedge four. Um, let's go with Italy. See, geography is not my strong point. Spain. Switzerland. Oh my god. Everybody's shouting at their screen like, you idiot. It must be Sweden, come on. China? Thank you! I just did not make it to the last wedge. I was so close. I'm sure if I clicked, cl selected another two answers correct, I would have been... I had a fourth wedge. But now I'm, I'm trailing behind. With three wedges. But we can still do it, come on. I'm sure we can do it. Cool. And now let's check out our next round. Final round. Answer a series of rapid fire. Oh, that's round. Got one or the other answer. Two answers. One's correct. Could cost you the wedge. Yep. Each category is worth a wedge. And six wins the game. Yeah, so if you reach six wedges, then you win. I'm currently on three. The other guy is currently on four. So I need to basically get three. He needs two. Yeah. That could be difficult. History. Oh, no. No chance. It's history. So the Aztecs are the Mayans. Structure the empires with city-states. Aztecs. Have a calendar, the Mayans, end of the world, 2012. Does anybody remember that? I do. Yay! <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, I've caught up now. I just need to retain that and get ahead. Prove your film 
television and music, it's all entertainment. Oh no. Fan film and TV series taxi. Sorry, incorrect answers mean you're out until the next category. God, if he wins the next one then. For the winner of the category. I know nothing about Danny DeVito or Arnold Schwarzenegger. Customs and cultures, landmarks and places, geography. Niagara Falls or Victoria Falls, the major two, uh, I think that is Victoria Falls. Oh my god, what one did I press? I pressed the wrong one. The tension is rising. Okay. I pressed the wrong button. I meant to press Victoria Falls. And that just cost me the game. I pressed the wrong button. What a show. See you next time on Trivial Pursuit Live. Well, that was an absolute fail. What a fail. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. I would have still been in the game and still had a chance if I'd actually correct answered it and not pressed the wrong button but yeah let's go back to um, what we were looking at earlier we will go to where is it let me see it thank you yep we will go back to uh, where is it Q yep wait a minute have I got have I actually got goat simulator installed oh my god I actually have goat simulator installed <laughs> Maybe we give that a go for some fun one day. But yeah. Yeah, so don't miss hopefully tomorrow's video where we'll be playing this game. It's going to be an absolute blast. I can't wait to play it. But yeah, follow the Discord server. Um, the link is in the description for more updates on uh, new videos coming very soon. Um, yes. Going to try and do at least five or six videos a week this week. There'll probably be a video um, up until next Tuesday. Um, well... The, f the Tuesday coming because obviously it's the first week of the console games and I want to have at least a lot of gameplay on Red Dead Redemption 2 and most of the Red Dead Redemption 2 videos will be between 30 and 40 minute longs long the first one will be about 50 minutes so it's the first episode but yeah please subscribe if you want to see more and yeah and like the video as well and leave me your thoughts on if you want to see more console or more PC games I'm open to suggestions but yeah if you enjoyed the video please like the button Keep it deep. All the videos on my channel. Please subscribe and let me know if you want to see more Travail Pursuit Live with four players, and um, preferably. Anyway, see you later.